what is going on everybody z here and welcome back to some more subnautica modded now last episode we did some base building stuff and we got some things done but we're trying to get our drill i want to get the drill made because that's like the main thing and guess what we have right here this should be the vehicle upgrade console finally we got it we're good to go uh let's go ahead and get this stuff while we're here so um yeah, basically, this is this area is actually not super like super hard to get to, and it's not like super deadly. Um, but there is actually some other stuff around here. Hold on, let's move the uh, let's move the sea moth around. But yes, we're doing some more some uh, modded stuff. Also, I have had uh, a lot of requests for listing the mods I'm currently using, so I'm going to try to make a Google Doc that's gonna have everything because, like I said, we have like thirty something mods. And uh, I, I think trying to link all of those into a, a video is going to be kind of a pain. So I'm going to try to get a Google Doc and update it as I change things. So hopefully the link will be down below with the Google Doc that has all the things and all the stuff. So yeah. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more, you know, standard stuff. And let's see what else we got here. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I've noticed I've got some hitching on my game. I've noticed that I, I, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like, uh, bouncing around a little bit what is this command chair i guess we'll take that how's my oxygen looking oxygen's okay supply crate disinfected water light stick fragment heck yeah uh but yeah i've noticed uh, i've got a little bit of a stutter going on and i don't know there's light stick fragment um i don't know what it's ca i don't know what's causing it i'm sure it's one of the mods because i never really ever have issues with subnautica <laughs> before so uh one of the mods is probably causing it you know it happens it is what it is so if you guys notice that that's that's what it is i just want to address it now all right so let's head back and let's get this made so that way we can get the drill the drill is what we're after here the drill is what we need and we're back at our base now i know our base is super small right now it'll get bigger don't worry as as things go on it'll get bigger i just hit it <laughs> just hit my own base all right so let's get this uh let's get this vehicle upgrade put in i don't know what i need for it uh titanium cute computer chip and copper wire well let's see if we have the stuff for it uh let's put it right here and let's see if we have the stuff to make everything no, so apparently we are out of a computer chip, possibly. What do I need for computer chip? Copper wire? What do I need for copper wire? Uh, copper, which I probably don't have because it would automatically pull from my inventory if I had it, so I don't. Not wonderful. Let's go grab some copper real quick. Oh my gosh. We're constantly going after materials. This is why I want the drill so bad because I think the drill... Um, I, I don't know if it's like a randomly generated kind of thing of what it gives you, but it said it's based on biome. So I'm hoping that if we put a drill here, maybe we'll just get like the basic stuff, you know, like copper, titanium, maybe lead, silver, gold. I don't know, but just basic stuff would be super nice. And then maybe in other areas, we have the chance of getting like, uh, you know, other things like um, uranite and uh, like sulfur and ruby and kyanite crystals maybe i don't know for sure though all right i should have all of the stuff for that at least uh boom computer chip let's go ahead and make that guy and then we should be able to go ahead and make the uh the modification station which is going to give us the upgrade the storage module upgrade that we're going to need Ta-da! okay so what do we need for seamoth uh, common storage module. Heck yeah, let's make it now because I know we need it. So there's that. Now, um, let's go into our blueprints and let's see here. We need deep driller. So we have titanium. We need lubricant, advanced wiring kit, and scanner room HUD chip. What do I need for scanner room HUD chip? Scanner room speed. We need the HUD chip, but I need another computer chip. What am I out of for that? Probably gold now. Table coral. I'm out of table coral, actually. Heck yeah, that's super easy. It's just right here. I'll just go grab some of that right now. And boom, computer chip. Easy peasy. So we should be good now, right? Scanner room HUD chip. Heck yes. Now, I might not even had to go that far to make it. Uh, it might have actually communicated with the scanner room HUD. I'm not positive. Let's see here. Um, Let's, okay, let's see if we can make this or not. Where would that be? Is it under... Oh, it's in the F FCS one, huh? 
Okay, so I don't have advanced wiring kit and lubricant. And I can't make I can make lubricant, so that one's good. But an advanced wiring kit, I'm going to need computer chip, wiring kit, and gold. And I can't make that because I don't have copper wire, but I can make a wiring kit, so let's make that. I know I need fluid. We gotta get we gotta get food and water situation figured out too. So I need copper and gold. All right. Maybe I have it now. Come on, come on. Tell me that I have what I need. Uh, this guy. Wait, where did the scanner room HUD chip go? Wait, what? Does it not count if it's in these storages? Wait a second. Where did the scanner room HUD chip go? Oh, you know, it's installed, isn't it? Yeah, it installed. Okay. Wait, so what am I missing? Advanced wiring kit. Do I, I thought I had the stuff to make the advanced wiring kit. That's weird. This is like the one thing it's not auto, uh, like auto letting me make. Gold, wait, what? I just picked up a gold. Oh, I did not just pick up a gold. Well, poop. Oh, finally, we got the gold. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna grab some more stuff while I'm here. And then we're gonna get our driller made. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Oh, we got it. Deep driller. Uh. Pure fused quartz glass sand deep driller. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's do it. Okay. So how do I do it? What do I have to do? Oh, I'm so excited. I think it's going to go we're like right here somewhere. Uh, okay. So exterior modules. Oh my gosh. Now, is it going to say like what I'm possibly going to get from here? All right. You know what? Let's set this one right here. Why can't I build you? There we go. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, F C S F C Studios mods. Uh, Deep Driller Mark Two. Zero percent charged. Power off. Power on. Okay, so I might need to run one of those wireless power transmitter deals here. Because it doesn't look like it has any charge. And it looks like, is that oil? Does it like require lubricant maybe? Uh, go to programming page, go to settings page, go to maintenance page, go to inventories page. Okay. Programming page, use functions, calls to your drill to upgrade. Add upgrade function to the drill, enter function, Never mind. I'm not gonna mess with that because I don't know anything about it. Uh, maintenance page, settings page, enable, disable. Titanium quartz, silver, gold lead sand. Ooh. Enable disable blacklist. So if I select all of these. Okay. Oh, filters. Go to color picker. Uh, toggle solar panels. Wait, what? What? Uh, toggle export to X storage. Show hide range. What's the range? Okay. Uh, so, oh, oh, let's not drown here. So is it only collecting things from around this drill? Or is it? Yeah, let's turn that off. Let's go to home. 1% charge inventory. Do we have anything? No, not yet. Okay. So now the next thing I obviously want for this is I want the uh, the X storage deal to go with it. That way you can like store the things, um, hopefully. So let's kind of see what we need for that. Um, C cooker, X storage depot. So we need a wiring kit, titanium ingot, times two glass and a power cell. I feel like that should be easy enough. Wiring kit. We'll see if we can make this, and then we can have it export to this uh, this thing. Titanium ingots. I need two of these. All right, X storage depot. Oh, this is gonna be exciting. I'm so excited about this. Okay, so let's get that guy. Let's go ahead and place that on here. 
Uh, can we just place it like right on this thing? Okay. Next storage depot. Let's go ahead and put this to, uh, where is it? Settings? Add power unit. Oh, we can add a power unit. Oh, neat. Okay. And then settings on. Okay. So <gasps> we've got lead and we've got a copper in here already. Oh my gosh. Item count is two. Oh, ho, 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 we're doing the things. Now, um, actually, what do I need for a power transmitter deal? Uh, a gold. Ugh, I don't think I have any gold. I hate having to get gold. Wait, did we get a gold? Maybe we got a gold. Oh, I could use a gold. I could use a gold so bad. We got a copper and lead. I need a gold. I'm actually curious if the power transmitter will work if we put one over here two over here so i'm actually needing two um oh solar panels aren't going to be working right now so power is at eight percent power usage items daily is 12. okay so we get 12 items per day hmm that's not it's not bad it's not bad Especially because then we can go out and start focusing on other things and hopefully come back and get some of these. Um, and then maybe, I mean, maybe we can get enough stuff to do this. Now, let's see here. So it looks like we're getting gold, lead, sand, titanium, copper, quartz, and silver. So if we build another one of these over, say, in a different biome, I think the, I, I think the items we would get would be different. So if we use this guy and we go to a biome, so we have a uh, scanner. We have a drill on this area. So this is the standard bog standard area. So if I put one over here in this area, this will probably pull a different set of resources, which is actually right here. And if I put one in here, that would probably pull a different set of resources as well as this one and this one. So like, as you can see, we could be pulling resources from all of these. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. All right, that is that is super exciting. I'm super excited about that. Now, hydroponic stuff requires purple tablets. That's really expensive. Kit that allows you to build one large hydroponic harder harvester unit. Um, I almost want to start with a small, but I'm also worried about the the purple tablet. That's kind of expensive. The quantum teleporter. Oh, I cannot wait for this stuff. The sea cooker. That's aerogel. So I don't have the stuff for that. Honestly, like I want to get these deep drillers set up. So that way we can be uh, getting like plenty of resources. That would be so nice. And then sand can make glass. Hydroponic harvester. Synthetic fibers enameled glass advanced wiring kit. What is synthetic fibers? We don't have synthetic fibers yet. Why is that? What do I need to make to unlock synthetic fibers? I know I just, I literally just did this in below zero too. I was like, ah, we just did that. Okay, I wanna see if we got any gold. Did we get any gold yet? No, we did not. I almost wanna turn off like quartz and titanium and just get the like the harder to find stuff. But at the same time, like I know I'm gonna need all of it. I'm actually really curious curious about this programming thing. Use functions. Calls to your drill to upgrade. Hmm. I'm curious. So like, can we upgrade it to more, but then it would need more power, right? Probably. <gasps> we got a gold. Uh, Take the gold. Okay, so I can make one of those power unit deals. Uh, let's put one, let's see, uh, exterior, right? Interior, exterior modules, power pole deal. Oh, I can't put one on here. Interesting. I can't put one on there. Why is that? Like, what if I just put it right here? Would it connect these two? I don't think so. No, because doesn't this one have to, like, go on your base? 
Like, it has to connect one grid to another, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so, like, this guy would have to connect, but it doesn't look like I can actually put a power guy on this one. That's kind of unfortunate. I was kind of hoping that we could just use the base power, you know? But, I mean, I get it. I guess I understand. It's, uh, it's, it's done so... Hold on, let's get rid of that. So, if I put a battery in here... That would probably be ideal. Let's put a battery in there. Let's get one. Um, let's take all the things. Oh, this is probably a pick up all button, huh? Yeah, that probably was. Okay. Let's get a battery put in there. Let's get like a power cell put in there and just see if maybe that'll help. Maybe it'll speed it up. I don't know. All right. Let's see. Let's throw a battery in here and maybe it just keeps it charged during the night times. That could all that. That could be what it is, too. Uh, maintenance page power okay then add lubricant ooh okay so it's 27 percent power usage per second is 0.7 so that didn't change anything but it does require lubricant um that's not bad we probably should set up a little farm let's actually go ahead and set up an exterior grow bed to uh to grow some creep vine just so we can get some lubricant in here too now i would use the hydroponic farm for this but i don't have uh i don't really have the stuff to make it right now all right perfect so we got those uh we have some sand which is handy dandy you know what let's go ahead and turn the filter on let's just try to grab well i'm i'm curious though like how does it work does it filter out so it'll like just dump out what it gets unless it's one of those items or will it only get those specific items you know what i mean i don't know specifically what it is and i'd hate to be missing out on items just because i have a filter on it but i can imagine that once i get enough this holds 200 items though we're just gonna let it run we're gonna let it do its thing okay so we're gonna let this guy just run i'm just gonna let it run we're gonna let it do its thing and i'm gonna get the stuff to make another one because we're gonna need more magnetite so i want to go put it in the area where i know magnetite is at um and just see if it gets magnetite you know uh okay so hold on let's see what do we have in here so i need to get lubricant we already have a scanner room hud chip it's on my inventory uh titanium advanced wiring kit and lubricant okay so let's get the lubricant made advanced wiring kit we need gold and computer chip but for gold we need that and that we can't make those good gosh we're out of everything again i need this drill to work faster i almost need two drills over here i'm curious about these upgrade things though like how you get the upgrades to work you know i like that the screen moves with you as you're like floating it's kind of neato all righty we got enough for another driller okay so we're gonna put this one up since we're using magnetite like pretty pretty quickly uh we're actually gonna go place this one over uh by the well actually hold on a second if i pull up the map i am right here and i think grassy plateaus kelp forest sparse reef what about cave jelly shroom can i put a drill in the drill jelly shroom and will that will that actually net me anything let's go find out let's see how this works uh the only problem oh it's not gonna have solar power though that could be weird what if we just put it like right on the cave entrance i don't know let's find out let's find out i'm so excited oh i love this um okay Let's see, it was this way, I believe. So let's kind of see what would happen if I put it like right here. Can you guys go away? I'm gonna hit him. Got him. <laughs> see you later, suckers. Literally, they're they're suckers. Uh okay, so drilling station. What if we just put it right here? What's that gonna do? Okay. Booting up. It's going into the gel. Oh, it's going in there. What are the odds that this would work? Uh, okay. Go to inventory page. Go to maintenance page. Settings. Silver, gold, lead, quartz, salt, titanium, copper, sand. Mmm. Not quite what I wanted. Let's go ahead and pick this guy back up. 
and let's get it because i really need to get magnetite i really need a magnetite going so let's just pop down in here and let's see if we can get to the point where let's see can we can we put it like can we put it right here maybe i'd like it to be like right in the open so maybe it gets a little bit of solar i would be okay using batteries and just charging up batteries for it uh i would not be upset with that so drill fsc drill uh let's just place it like right here and let's see what this does booting up it might it might get solar power i don't know we'll have to see but i want to see what it's going to say i really want magnetite to be on the list settings diamond gold lithium magnetite silver and sand that is all fantastic let's go ahead and turn solar panels on uh we don't need to turn that on uh we don't need to turn that on now is it going to be getting any charge whatsoever um i don't think it's going to actually well it might be wait did it say 15 sun it said sun was like 16 percent okay sun 16 percent okay so and it's nighttime actually so this might work okay we need to get a uh we need to get a deal in here though let's go into the inventory page all right we'll let this this holds 100 items okay we'll let that guy run i'd like to make a storage deal for this but we need we definitely need to get a um we definitely need to get a power cell in there ouch that's gonna hurt so let's see what are the odds that we actually have enough copper from this guy to make a power cell uh one copper let's just take all of these so add items to x storage but it doesn't look like there's a retrieve items from x storage so i mean eh, it is what it is you know all right one power cell coming on up this is gonna help us get the other one going and because i need magnetite but the fact that we're going to be getting like diamond and stuff like that, that's super cool. Now, I did see a, uh, I saw a mod that was like an Altera trade platform kind of thing. So, since we have these going, we might be getting, uh, we might be getting some extra stuff that we don't need that we could trade off. Now, does this show up on the map? That, no, okay. This doesn't communicate. I was curious if these mods communicated where it would show the deep drillers in the locations that you have them at. Uh, so we probably should be throwing up beacons next to all of these. Because <laughs> I don't think... Yeah, no. these None of these have beacons. Okay, so we should definitely be throwing up beacons next to all these as well. All right, let's get in here. Let's click on that. Maintenance, power. Let's go ahead and throw a power cell on this bad boy. <gasps> look at that it's so happy you know what i think i'm gonna go to the settings page i don't want sand toggle filters enable disable blacklist on i want silver magnetite lithium gold and diamond because i don't i don't really want sand Sand can just go away. But does that... Is that filtering for these items? Enable, disable, blacklist. Or do I do this? Enable, blacklist, and sand? Maybe? Or maybe it's like either one. Oh, we got gold? Yes! Yes, indeed. That is wonderful. Okay, we probably should uh, we probably should get back to our, our CMOT here. <gasps> we got automation going. This is amazing. I love automation. Give me that automation. All right, so we have uh, we have some things set up. This is amazing. Now uh, I'd like to make some beacons. Let's see if we can make some beacons here because those are gonna be like way too nice, and we need them. Uh, let's see. We can make one. I want to make two. I want to make one for every drill that I place, so I don't so I don't lose it. Uh, I know that's terrible. Okay. So there's the other beacon and we'll just mark these as drills and then I can always toggle them if I need to. Oh, also I changed the color. It's red. How cool is that? 
I know, it's super cool. All right, so let's go ahead and drop that. Uh, name beacon. This is going to be, we'll just do, uh, I'm just going to do drill one. Just keep it super basic, super simple. And that's good. Let's go place a beacon on the other drill as well. <gasps> oh, this is wonderful. This is so good. This is so good. I cannot even wait. And there's like, there's just so many things I'm excited about uh, as far as these like mods go, because we have a lot of things that we can play with here. And one that I'm, I can make an, oh, I was about to say, I can make another one. Uh, I can make glass. Uh, another one I'm really excited about is the quantum teleporter. I think this thing is going to be insane and super amazing. And look at that, we're getting diamond. Um, so we just need to, I wish there was a way to power these with i wonder if the jet stream would power the drill underwater i don't know i don't know we're gonna have to do some testing stuff um but i'm super excited about everything like i just i cannot even wait i am so ready for it let's go place our beacon down at the other drill we'll see what goodies it has for us already and i think that's gonna be kind of it for this episode i'm super excited Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll place a beacon here as well. Go ahead and drop. Where did I pick up the other beacon? Nope. Ah, darn it. Drop. Rename. This is going to be drill two. Perfect. And then, of course, we got to change the color. It's got to be red. It's got to be red. Uh, we've got gold and diamond in here. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. Okay, so settings, color, uh, red. <laughs> oh, I love it. <gasps> I love it so much. So we'll place, we'll make all of our drills red. And then we will, um, let's go to our beacons. Let's go ahead and change the color of these to red as well. And we'll know that drills are red. So that is marvelous. That is fantastic. And actually there's one more thing I want to look at. One more thing I want to look at before we go. Oh my gosh. A stalker took our camera. These little stalker buds. They're just so silly sometimes. They just want to play with the cameras. All right, so I want to look at the upgrades. So we have common upgrades, Seamoth upgrades. Okay, so we got depth, solar charger, perimeter, torpedo, sonar, laser cannon. Oh, we need a repulsion cannon, a propulsion cannon, two advanced wire kits, and two power cells. <gasps> I don't even think I have the repulsion cannon yet. I think we're close to propulsion cannon. Also, there is a basic one that gives us a speed module upgrade. Uh, allows small vehicle engines to go into overdrive adding greater speeds, but at the cost of higher consumption, consumption rates. So basically the afterburner from the, uh, from below zero. Now what prawn suit, prawn torpedo armor. Do we have different torpedoes? Vortex gas. You know, I'm actually, I don't think I got any mods for the prawn suit. So I might have to look at that as well, but that's going to end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Uh, we will be back continuing the uh, this all the shenanigans. It's going to be a good time. Now, like I said, I'm going to try to get a Google Doc made up with all of the links to all of the mods that I'm currently using. Like I said, there's like 35, I think, currently. And I will try to update that as I update or remove mods as we go. Um, but yes, thank you again for coming out. Have a fantastic time. Like, subscribe, all the fun things. And I will see you in the next one.